see. I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create. Whitby Abbey has been demolished and destroyed many times across its fairly illustrious uh, history. First built in 657, it was destroyed after the Anglo-Saxons, after the Normans, after Henry VIII. But each time, somebody found the will, the time and the money to bring it back to life again. Much like God and us. I'm a bit of an amateur art and history enthusiast. I'm always excited uh, to hear about some kind of discovery or um, the way that we're trying to bring something back to life. And really revival and restoration how carry that idea for me, bringing something not only back to life, but something to its kind of exuberance or, or the brightness of, of how it was. So if they're cleaning a, a Michelangelo or, or a Da Vinci, fresco, trying to show some of that vibrant, bright colour again, and, and that's, that's what excites me. That's what I like about those words, the idea of recapturing something that has dulled or dampened over time. As Christians, we, we enter a world that is separated from God, and our task is to redeem uh, and restore the people back to God. And so deliverance for me is about restoring a, a, a new relationship of the people or the culture with God. I see the, the restoration isn't something in the future. I really believe God is wanting to be present in our lives today and He wants to restore us daily. He wants to come alongside us and, and fix those things that need to be fixed in our lives daily. I see it as that it's that daily time that you spend with God and He restores you back to where He wants you to be, you know. You can come home all flustered, frustrated, had a bad day, and you can just be quiet and you can have that peace restored in you. You can have that sense of connection restored. You can have that sense of belonging to Him restored and that, that sense of disconnect that comes about with the frustrations of life. It's, it's like it's taken away and you're restored and you're reconnected. And yes, I do, I mean, I totally believe that later, one day, we will be restored you know, transformed. But for me, I like to dwell on the, the present, what he's doing right now in my life.